This is Gabrielle. How can I help you? Yes. My name is Gabrielle. I am a customer service representative at a wonderful company. I also have a son named Alex. He's nine years old and he is my world. We are very happy. We love our house. Our house is a huge blessing that we thank God for every single night. It's exactly what we wanted, a place to call home. We were not always this happy. I was in a very abusive relationship with my husband and things didn't go so well. He pushed Alex on several occasions, um, would get into his face, pushed him down onto the ground, um, pulled him by his shirt, um, and then it started with me. First it was just Alex, and then it was with me. You know, the verbal abuse would start with me, and then one day he ended up pushing me into a wall. When you love somebody, you don't do those kinds of things. It was very hard to deal with on a daily basis. The, the verbal abuse, extremely hard to deal with. Never knowing what's gonna happen, when it's gonna happen, what, what, what kind of mood he's gonna come home in. It made me feel inadequate. It made me feel like much less of a person. To not be able to protect my son was a horrible feeling. I knew I had to get out. Uh, I left and I went and saw a friend who gave me some money to stay at a hotel. And so I had enough money to stay at a hotel for two days. And after those two days, I didn't have anywhere else to go, no more money for a hotel. So I started calling around to shelters, um, and that's when I found the YWCA. And I just remember that first night that I was here, the house mom that brought me in, she said, you have nothing to worry about. Her look of reassurance that nobody was gonna bother me here was such a comfort. When I fell asleep that night, I felt like I had slept like I haven't slept in 10 years. Alex woke up the next day and it just seemed like a weight had been lifted off of his shoulders. He was a nine-year-old boy again. And I knew that was the start over of our lives. Uh, first and foremost, they gave us a roof over our heads, a place to sleep, a warm bed, to be able to have alone time and not be scared and not be nervous. Those feelings were just amazing. They provided me and Alex with group therapy, which is something that we both needed very much in our lives. They provided us with counseling, which is also something that Alex needed uh, to get through anger issues and nervousness. He didn't know how to handle the feelings that he was having, and they helped him through that a lot. Helping me find work, resume building, all of those things were key tools to where I am right now. You ready, Mom? I'm grateful for the rest of my life for this shelter. They've changed our lives for the better so much better. We are both two happy individuals who are succeeding in life. I am on track and we are moving forward. Um, Alex is in school and he is making A's and B's. I am going to work every single day and coming home and we are living our lives as a family. How's it going? Good. Good. You did a good job. The most important thing that I want people to know about me is that it's possible. It's, I'm, I'm doing it. I'm living the new life afterwards. After the abuse, after the pain, after the anguish and the heartache and the brokenness. I'm still going. And I'm so much happier now than I ever was before. I've succeeded. I've gotten to that place. And it's all because of the YW in Pell City.